I'm Dr. Laura Shaheen. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we're going to talk about when to do egg freezing. I'm Dr. Laura Shaheen. I'm a reproductive endocrinologist. Today, we're going to talk about when you should freeze your eggs. Egg freezing is such an incredible opportunity. It's a wonderful option, but there are definitely pros and cons. And I counsel my patients daily about egg freezing, when they should freeze their eggs, should they freeze their eggs. So I have seen during my career as a fertility doctor, a dramatic change in egg freezing. When I first was learning and in training, egg freezing was very rare and it was just offered to cancer patients. When you undergo chemotherapy, radiation therapy, or maybe even surgery on your ovaries, you can lose fertility function. And some people even go into menopause after chemotherapy. And so this option of freezing eggs, you know, before you undergo chemotherapy is a way to preserve your fertility before it's lost in your cancer treatment. But it wasn't really offered as widely as it is today until we had to really advance in technology. We've been freezing sperm for decades. We've been freezing embryos for decades, but we developed something called vitrification, which is a fast freezing method that is so much more friendly to eggs. You know, it was really hard to figure out how to freeze eggs in the beginning. And I am so thankful to embryologists, especially my lab directors and the embryologists at my clinic at Pacific Northwest Fertility. They are on the cutting edge of egg freezing. And I just really have learned a lot from all that they went through in the lab to really understand this process. Um, so we kind of speak about it flippantly now and you see celebrities talking about egg freezing and and it's sort of almost part of casual conversation but that is not the case and i have seen just dramatic changes in my career and i love it so the technology has advanced um, success rates are improved we have so much more information these days. So a lot more people are freezing their eggs. And a really common question when I'm doing a fertility preservation consult or doing a fertility check and seeing patients, they often ask, when should I freeze my eggs, Dr. Shaheen? You know, I don't know if I'm going to need them. I, you know, I might meet a partner tomorrow and have a baby in a year. Like, should I freeze my eggs now? Like, what do you think? And it's really a balance. And a lot of the consult and discussion is tailoring recommendations for that person that is sitting in front of me. But in general, the younger you are when you freeze the eggs, the better quality the eggs. The older you are when you freeze the eggs, the poorer quality they are. So it's important to understand physiologically why fertility changes with age. So we all kind of know that as we age, our fertility declines. It's, the message is out there. As we get older, it takes longer to conceive. We have a higher chance of miscarriage. Um, fertility treatment success rates are lower. It all comes down to the age of the eggs. So when we ovulate, whether we're 20 or 40, our eggs have to do all of this genetic work. They're literally frozen in our body um, with two copies of each chromosome. And it's when we ovulate that we get rid of half of our genetic content in those eggs so that they can fertilize with sperm and then develop into embryos and develop into a baby. And so it's not that people don't have good eggs when they're in their forties. It's just that there's fewer good eggs and it takes longer to conceive. And that's a lower chance of finding a good egg with fertility treatment. You know, I wish that IVF was hundred percent successful. That would be amazing. I think there's a perception in society that IVF is obviously so technologically advanced and so darn expensive that it's just got to work. I mean, you look at the cover of People magazine and celebrities are, you know, having babies in their late 40s and 50s. And you sort of think to yourself like, oh, if I'm just rich and famous enough and I can just do as many IVF cycles as I want, it's going to happen. IVF is only as good as those eggs and sperm that we're working with. And as we age, there's just it takes longer, there's fewer good eggs. And so the whole point of egg freezing is to freeze your fertility when your eggs are younger and more of them can do all of that genetic work. So talking to a patient about when to freeze their eggs, it is a real balance between if you do it when you're younger, those are going to be better quality eggs and you're going to have to freeze less eggs to have success in the future. But the younger you freeze your eggs, the less likely you're going to use them. And it's going to, it could be a long time that they're in storage and you might never use them. And like, maybe you didn't even really need to freeze your eggs because you had your family without them. The older you are when you freeze your eggs, then 
the more egg retrievals you might need to do or the lower chance of success with each egg that you freeze. So it might be very cost effective to freeze your eggs when you're older because there's a high chance you're going to need them. But then also you're going to maybe have to do more cycles and kind of it might be a lower chance that you find a good egg the longer you wait. One way to kind of put this in perspective is to look at some of these egg freezing calculators that are online. I often do this with patients when I'm in a consult. I'm like, I, I, I know you get the broad concept of the older the eggs are, you know, the less, you know, successful they could be when we go to use them. But I think when you start plugging numbers into these egg freezing calculators, you can kind of understand this process. So for example, if someone is 25 years old and we freeze 10 eggs and they come back to use them later in life, there's like 70, 75% chance of one live birth with 10 eggs frozen, maybe even like a 30, 40% chance of two live births with 10 eggs frozen at age 25. And you might say 10 eggs, Dr. Shaheen, like I don't want 10 kids, but you don't know what's going to happen with those eggs until you go to use them. Not every egg is going to survive the thaw. Not every egg that does survive the thaw is going to fertilize. Not every embryo is going to be perfect. You don't really know what the sperm is going to be like that you're using in the future. Like that has a huge impact on success. So you can't ever think like, oh my gosh, I freeze my eggs. It's a hundred percent chance of having a baby in the future. There's so many variables, but if that same person freezes 10 eggs, but they're 35 years old, the chance of one live birth isn't going to be 70%. It might be more like 50%. And the chance of two live births could be closer to 20 or 25%. So someone who's 35 years old, they need to freeze 20 eggs in order to have like a 70, 80% chance of a baby with their frozen eggs because fewer of the eggs are going to be perfect the older we are. So, and then if someone tries to freeze eggs, you know, after the age of 40, not only are you dealing with the fact that fewer and fewer percentage of the eggs are going to be successful, but as we age, we usually have fewer eggs that are up for grabs. You never know until you do an egg retrieval how many eggs you're actually going to get. But at age 40, it's not uncommon for people to get less than 10 eggs with one egg retrieval. And at 40, you might need to freeze 30 or 35 eggs to have a 50% chance of live birth. And so it might take you three egg retrievals to do that. So I know I just threw out a lot of numbers, but just go and find one of these egg freezing calculators online. Just put in a search engine, find it, and just start playing with the numbers. You can plug in age and you can plug in number of eggs that are frozen and it'll give you best guess. You know, this is not tailored to you. This is kind of looking at overall statistics and chances, but playing with that, you can conceptualize, you know, this balance. There's a wonderful study that actually tried to answer when is the optimal time to freeze eggs? It came out of UNC Chapel Hill, it was published in 2015, and they did a cost-effective analysis, sort of looking at just based on age, someone's overall chances of getting pregnant um, versus using eggs and kind of with the data and success rates it had at the time. And they sort of showed that the younger you are when you freeze your eggs, the less cost effective it is because the lower chance you're actually going to need them or use them. And the older you are, the maybe the more cost effective it is because you might actually need them but that it might take more cycles to be successful. And in that study, they find that your mid thirties are probably the ideal time to balance cost effectiveness and use and success for freezing your eggs. That being said, if you wanna freeze your eggs when you're in your twenties, those are amazing eggs and go for it. And if you're in your forties and you're thinking about freezing your eggs, it's still an option, but just really have a good, thorough discussion with your doctor about expectations for how many eggs you're gonna get and expectations for how many eggs you need to meet your family building goals. I hope this was a helpful video. There's so many things to learn about and share as far as egg freezing. Please like this video if you learned something, comment with questions that you have, topics you want me to cover, subscribe to this channel so you can continue learning and stick around for more videos.